What's up everybody, my name is Alejandro Pacheco and welcome aboard to this episode of the Business Airbus podcast and YouTube videos where I'm documenting my journey on how to become a successful entrepreneur and how I can help business owners. On today's video I want to talk about what does it take to become a successful entrepreneur and there are so many reasons or many factors that can take you from point A to point B to become the person that you are today, to become that successful entrepreneur. There are so many factors, like for example, you need to have the right mindset or you have to have different uh, skill sets, like how to communicate, how to integrate with people, how to be a leader, so many factors. And today, I just want to talk about three key points or three key important things for me that you need to have or that I need to have just to become a successful entrepreneur. This might apply for you as well because these three key points are my top ones on how we can become this person that we want to be in the future, right? And I want to start with the first one which is being patient. Patient it's just the skill to wait long enough until you become this person. Sometimes we start doing something, we get stressed and we give up. And that's the worst thing that we can do. Once we gave up, there's nothing we can do. All that patience is gone. That's why we have to be patient in the long run. When we do um, our plans, it's not if we want to become rich quick, it won't happen unless you um, get lucky and win the lottery or something like that. But waiting is the one of the main skills that you have to have because when you don't have patience, you lose pretty much because you will give up all the time that you start doing something right so for example my plan is for a 10 years plan this is like i'm just starting this is just the beginning those videos that you're watching from me are just the beginning for a 10 year plan that i have so my plan is like to become rich in 10 years not right now not in one month not in one year not in two years uh in two years maybe will be my second step on this entrepreneurial journey because that's when I get the residency here in New Zealand. And from there, it's like a new chapter of my journey that we will find out in the future. But patience is one of the main things that you have to have on your skills to become a successful entrepreneur. And the second one that I want to talk to on today's video is related to the last one that we were just talking and this one is being is keeping constant constancy is one of the key points that you also need to become a successful entrepreneur this is related to being patient but the difference is when you start doing something the idea is not to stop doing it it's like for example my videos uh, I've been trying to post every day this is episode 46 sorry I was just checking what was my episode so this is my episode 46 so for the past 46 days I've been posting every day that's constancy that's how I am being constant and that's one of the skills that you need to do my main goal of course is to post every day during one year but because I have a full-time job and I have to study my, my, my business and other things that I'm studying, I don't have the time like for editing the videos, uploading the podcast and YouTube videos. Those things that takes time. And being constant is one of the hardest ones to have on your skills. It takes time to do it. That's why I'm going to talk in the third one. That will help you to with the last two that I just mentioned 
but with constancy it's like you need to dominate the things that you are doing every day it's like a habit a new habit that you will take every day and you want to stop doing it you need to keep going and don't give up and the long run being patient and being constant you already won you already have one step ahead one step closer to become a successful entrepreneur and the third one that you need to unite these other two skills that I just mentioned patient and constancy you need discipline and discipline I guess is another one of the tough ones to dominate because once you are disciplined it's like you have the right mindset you need there is a definition that I have for discipline is like doing the things that you have to do when you have to do it whether you like it or not I said it again discipline is doing the things that you have to do when you have to do it whether you like it or not it's simple as that discipline is doing those those things that you hate maybe but you have to do it because it will take you close to your goal to become a successful entrepreneur i hate editing the videos i hate uploading those videos taking the time waiting until those videos loaded or on the podcast platforms waiting to the audio to load then to cut when i'm going to do my intro and those type of things i hate it but the discipline helps me to focus on the things that i have to do when i have to do it whether i like it or not that's discipline and you can see like these three main things are related to each other it's like I said patient is my journey in 10 years on how I will become a successful entrepreneur 10 years I need to be patient constancy is being able to do the things that I have to do every day without stopping and having the discipline is to have that skills on doing the things that I have to do it when I have to do it whether I like it or not see these three are related each other you need these three to become a successful entrepreneur or well that's my opinion I hope you have your own I am key points I have three but if you have one or your top ones I would like you to focus on those because any type of skills will take you one step ahead one step closer to your goals i hope you enjoyed this episode please follow me on instagram alejandro.pachecos with the letter s at the end alejandro.pachecos and business airbus is the instagram account for this podcast and youtube videos Also, please add this podcast to your favorite list on Spotify and give us a like on Facebook, Business Airbus. Find us on Facebook and give us the like just to keep updated. Thank you for watching. Gracias. And I'll see you in my next episode.